primero que todo pedirle que me escuchen, ya son muchos días, eh, no puedo coordinar muy bien tampoco las cosas que digo. So first of all, I'd like to apologize. I'd like you to uh, just realize that it's been a lot of days without eating, and it's uh, it's hard for me to even really know what to say in this moment. I want to thank you for being here today, for standing here with us, for accompanying all the workers of, of Colombia and us specifically. We'll stay in the struggle as long as we have to. And I just want to say, you know, the situation down there is very difficult too. The families are going hungry. Uh, they aren't, the workers aren't able to, to work at this moment. They've been maintaining an occupation in front of the U.S. Embassy for the last 530 days. And I just want to remind you why that is. These are workers that were injured on the job from the repetitive stress, the heavy lifting, the poor ergonomics, and the accelerated work pace. So these are workers that were injured on the job. They were illegally fired for their injuries. They were detected at the company medical facility. They, many of them have gone three or four years without work, without a strike fund. They've been organizing. They've been able to denounce the falsification of papers from the government labor officials that have collaborated with General Motors when General Motors broke the law and fired these workers that were already injured on the job. All of the guys in the tent really appreciate that you're here. They appreciate all the efforts that we're doing here in the United States to win justice. It's ridiculous that workers have to go through three hunger strikes and sew their lips closed and go to the, the last consequences in order to get justice from a, a corporation like General Motors that could easily resolve this. Thank you everybody for being here. Okay, we have uh, uh, people have come uh, from parts elsewhere, from.